waiting a little bit, so I guess, so we'd all settle in. So I'm just going to take a few minutes and uh, just, just introduce some of the startup initiatives we, have, we are starting uh, as part of the whole uh, FinTech uh, FTV uh, initiative. Uh, so we have a whole kind of a sub uh, theme running, which is around uh, creating a FinTech startup hub in, uh, in Wysag. So the, the base is the, the FinTech Valley Towers itself, uh, which is coming up and which is going to be the uh, kind of the hub of activity of uh, all the FinTech initiatives being taken up right now, uh, the efforts to get some of the FinTech majors uh, to come in, large financial companies to come into the city. And so uh, along with the companies, there's a plan to set up an innovation hub there, uh, which allows these large companies to co-innovate uh, with the local ecosystem, with other service providers. Uh, so there's an innovation hub also being proposed in the same building. And an extension of the innovation hub is the uh, startup uh, kind of the initiative. We're looking at that being the base. FTV Innovation Hub to be the base for some of the, uh, the grassroots startup initiatives that we will take up in the uh, city. So there are specifically uh, five, uh, yeah, five initiatives that, or five programs that we are uh, kind of uh, proposing and it's already proposed and accepted and kind of some of it already set in motion as well. Uh, so we got the final approval. Uh, Jay Garu got the final approval uh, from the cabinet last week. So I think we're all set to go on all the five uh, initiatives. So the, um, the initiatives are the first one is like, uh, we want to create a global startup challenge. Um, so the idea, how do we get, I mean, we're, we're doing a lot of, uh, kind, kind of a lot of initiatives around attracting FinTech majors, but how do we attract FinTech startups? So, and coming from behind, we are not exactly known to be a startup city. Uh, Vizag is not known to be a startup city, um, but that's a key part of becoming a startup fintech hub. If you don't have startups, then you're not a completely, you're not a true fintech hub. You're just a fintech kind of back office. And uh, so to be an innovation of startups are important. And uh, so we, wa we want to run this global challenge. It's a million dollar seed grant prize. It's a grand challenge. Uh, we're already tying up with partners uh, in five different parts of the world. Uh, two in US, one in uh, kind of uh, Japan, Singapore, and uh, we'll find one in London. Uh, and then like we have local partners who take the local challenges as a regional round, and then the, the final startups will come to Wysag. We were thinking of in the October, if the, the FinTech conference was happening in October, the main one, uh, but if that's moving, we have to figure out the date, but we'll mostly do it at that conference, probably in February, is the final round. So we'll get the startups to come, the finalists, they will pitch, and they're all startups willing to move to Wysag. At least one of the founders has to move to Wysag. So that is the condition for the challenge. And it's a million dollar grant challenge. It's not an investment, uh, it's just a grant. So, so we're hoping we can get some interest and the, and the peg, uh, why they should come is to explore the Indian, I mean, the developing worlds, uh, developing world markets through India. So that's, that's the peg. So we'll have a base for them here. They'll be based in the FTV Innovation Hub. Uh, we will do the market connect. So we, we, we have an ex a fantastic, just the kind of people that we've had today uh, and hopefully some more that will join us tomorrow is a network that we will leverage uh, as they explore the uh, Indian market. So that's the peg and of course the million dollars is a big peg. So we expect them to come. So in that process, we are getting the finalists to come and explore the city. They have to be here for two weeks before the event. Uh, and then the winning team will stay for a year. I mean, one of the founders has to be based here. So we're hoping like we will get some global uh, quality startup connect through that initiative. Uh, and of course, we also have to get the Indian startups to look at us. Uh, so we are running an Indian challenge, uh, Indian uh, kind of startup, FinTech startup challenge as well. Startups anywhere in the country. Again, same condition, they have to move to uh, Wysag. Uh, and uh, they'll go through the whole screening process. Uh, the, the winning team has to move to Wysag, and, uh, and again, there the peg is like, I mean, like, like the Honorable CM just mentioned when he talk, uh, the government is a big consumer of a lot of these technologies and a very willing and ready consumer. So we're going to tell that that's one peg that we will have. Otherwise, they could be based anywhere. Uh, they can sell uh, anywhere. So no specific advantage of uh, being here, but the one advantage would be like that they're part of a community that's building, and the second advantage is like they will have a very, very strong shot uh, at kind of having government as their uh, customer. And, uh, and uh, of course, they can come just for the one crore grant challenge that they get, seed grant uh, challenge. So, so again, so the idea is that through this campaign, we draw attention to the fact that there's something very interesting happening in FinTech in the city. And of course, in that process, also get a couple of startups move to the city, uh, good startups. And uh, then of course, like the third one we are exploring is an interesting, uh, there are a lot of well, global, I mean, entrepreneurs, maybe of Indian origin or maybe of even other origin, that are successful elsewhere. I mean, they've done that in the currently in between ventures. So we want to take a campaign. It's a very niche campaign. We have to be difficult to locate them, but we'll use some personal networks and like try and locate them wherever they are and see if they're willing to come and start the new venture in Vizag. And uh, so we'll provide all support for them. Uh, so that's the third one we will take. It'll be a campaign again. We're going to have the regional partners anyway. We'll probably use them. 
and use other uh, channels as well, and, and attract them to come and start the startup here. So globally well-known entrepreneurs, I mean, their, their previous ventures should have been well-known. That's the only condition, uh, and then we will, a lot of goodies kind of given to them just to come and start their next venture uh, here. The, uh, the, the fourth one, of course, is like, I mean, the academic startups is a very, very key part uh, of, if you want to have a vibrant, most well-known startup hubs have a very, very strong academic anchor. So we want to, Vizag is known to be a good academic uh, kind of uh, uh, hub in the, in the state. And uh, so we want to leverage that, and we want to create a, a kind of an initiative where we at least get that process going very strongly. So we started, uh, it's already underway, the first part of it is happening tomorrow as a workshop. So we've got some colleges which are a little proactive, uh, have incubation centers and have proactive leadership. Uh, so we're doing a pilot with just few colleges this year, and next year we'll expand it to a much larger set. And so it's a year, it's almost an eight month long uh, initiative, third year students. There's a workshop tomorrow, there's a screening hackathon, then there's a two day hackathon on 24th and 25th. Then the shortlisted teams come to a five week summer workshop. It's a product entrepreneurship workshop where they'll get business, technology, and kind of domain mentorship. And at the end of the workshop, they'll do a pitch, investor pitch, and we'll shortlist five to seven, eight, depending on the quality of uh, work done, uh, as many teams as are good, and then put them through a three month mentorship and then in the October event, or, or if you're moving it, but they will probably still do it in October, probably at the blockchain event. Uh, and then they, they pitch, and then the winning team gets a 10 lakh seed grant to start the startup. And uh, so we're hoping in this process, we would have created few good fintech startups ground up from, from the academic uh, kind of environment. And, and more importantly, we would have set the ball in motion uh, to get this, as it kind of institutionalize this in those, uh, in the colleges that are participating. And we would have got an incubator in place, functioning incubator. We would have got the mentor support ecosystem, the knowledge support for them in terms of what all activities they should do. So we would have hopefully got a lot of those in place, which will kind of be a, uh, kind of creating an institutional framework for continued work. So this is a, another big part of the whole startup initiative. And the last part is, is a very significant one, uh, which incidentally Jay Gaur just confirmed uh, that the, the, the budgetary sign-off is in place now. Uh, so we are creating a 100 crore fund which will be leveraged through other partners. Yes, it's, it's big. I think there have been very few uh, such funds. Uh, instantly, the other fund, one of the funds I know was again started by during the same time when uh, when Nanob CM was the CM and Jaeger was also involved when the earlier fund started in uh, Hyderabad, like about, I don't know, 20 years back, sir, was it? 2000? Uh, so almost 18, 17 years back. Uh, and like, so similar thing, that, that experience was good. So, but this is going to be just focused on fintech startup, and uh, it's a, so with the leverage, it will be around 300 crore fund, uh, professionally managed, and uh, and of course only one condition: they any startup that gets qualified, the final condition is like all the other conditions apply as a normal investment. The final condition they have to have some presence in the state. That fund may not require just Vizag; it could be anywhere in the state. Vizag? Okay, if it's of course fintech will be fintech only, but the fund may go beyond fintech. But initially, it's going to be only fintech. Only fintech? fintech it's a fintech fund, okay. So I stand corrected. It's only fintech, but uh, so, and the startup has to agree to have a presence here. Unlike the other ones, the way we're insisting one of the founders has to be here. Uh, this one, we may not insist on the founders, but they have to have a presence in the state. And, uh, and it's a proper investment. That is not a grant. Uh, that's an investment. So those are the five initiatives uh, that we have. And uh, we're hoping that they all come together at the, at the big conference, uh, which is now in, uh, in February. February 19th and 20th, so we will have, like this time we got a lot of startups through the five startup challenges that we had, uh, and we're hoping like we will get much larger set of startups and also like much more mature and later stage startups coming in, uh, and, and, and that, that we believe will get us squarely on the, on the national and international stage that, that we are a city to reckon with for fintech startups. So that's the, uh, that's the plan. Uh, like I said, a lot of it is set in motion already, uh, we got the cabinet approvals and the budget also in place. Uh, so I think the announcement, we're waiting for this event to get over before the announcements go out, because just so not to confuse uh, with this conference. So the announcement should start going out in the next couple of weeks. And, and it's, uh, it's an international campaign, especially for the million dollar challenge. Uh, and likewise for the, the other challenge, it's a national campaign. Uh, so we have all the, the agencies, everything is in place. Uh, so I think you should start seeing some kind of the campaigns rolling out in the next couple of weeks. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ramesh.